The world of professional cycling is undergoing a period of rapid change. Amid the competition that is a race, it is the mechanics who serve as the anchors, making sure the riders can do their jobs. According to Eurosport expert Sir Bradley Wiggins, Jumbo Visma is the best team in the world right now, following an impressive 1-2 for the Dutch outfit on stage 17 of La Vuelta. Jumbo Visma demonstrate why they are best team in the world at the Vuelta a España 2021 with their strength like no other. Wout van Aert has said that he will be extending his contract with the Dutch cycling team Jumbo Visma, claiming that his squad had become the greatest in the world. Team Jumbo Visma has become unbeatable this year and is the best team in the world. Do you guys know how? 2022 is here, and now is the perfect time to reflect on the tremendous year that the Team Jumbo Visma cycling team had in 2018. What's your view? So hello viewers, welcome again to your favorite YouTube channel Cycling Right Now, where you get updates on the whole world. Hope guys you are doing well and good at your end. Hope you are all fine. Well don't worry, I am good too. Let me know guys, how are you doing these days in the comments section? And also, do suggest the topics you want us to make a video on. We will try our best to deal with everyone's demands. So today we are here with a quite different and unique topic which will I know amaze you all. Yes, it's about the success of Team Jumbo Visma and how its victory is getting unbeatable these days. Give you the introduction and the detail of the topic. Voot van Aert, Leonard Hofsted, Tony Martin, Lawrence de Plus, Mike Tunissen, Jonas Vinegard, and Taco Vanderhorn were some of the new riders who joined the team in January. Also joining the squad was Taco Vanderhorn. This event served as the starting point for the expansion of the team. They decided to go with Team Jumbo Visma because of its large and varied cast of riders, each of whom contributes a new chapter to the annals of the team's past. In Valencia, Dylan Gronewagen was able to bring home the first victory for Team Jumbo Visma. Not only was this the first victory of the year for the sprinter, who is 25 years old, but it was also the first victory for the team that he competes for, Team Jumbo Visma. The players were very overjoyed to have the opportunity to serve as the title sponsor of Team Jumbo Visma, which is widely regarded as one of the top cyclings and speed skating teams in the world. Team Jumbo Visma has racked up an impressive number of victories and championships across multiple sports, including cycling and speed skating. Just one request before we continue with the video. If you want to show your support for us, please subscribe to our channel so that we can keep you updated on new videos. Also, please share your thoughts or opinions on the Jumbo Visma in the comment section below. Now we'll get back into the video. After Primo's Roglic led home an impressive 1-2 for the Dutch outfit on stage 17 at La Vuelta, Eurosport expert Sir Bradley Wiggins stated that Jumbo Visma is the best team in the world right now. Wiggins made this statement after Primo's Roglic led home an impressive 1-2 for the team. Both Visma and Team Jumbo Visma are motivated by the same fundamental aspiration which is to win as a team. To accomplish this goal at Visma, they make it possible for all of their employees, teams and customers to give their best performances. In addition, they value diversity in both the sporting world and the business world because they are aware that doing so leads to improved performance. We have to be able to guide our leaders safely through the first hectic week while also making it difficult for the other tour favorites in the mountains," says Team Jumbo Sportive Visma's director. Now I am going to tell you a very contradictory part of the video, but before going further guys, just ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and also comment your views, if any, on the video. As you all know, every coin has two sides. Even though Team Jumbo Visma was victorious in every race they entered during the previous season, there is still room for improvement. Marin Zeman, the sporting director, stated that the team's goal is to compete for victory in the monuments, and with Primoz Roglic and Jonas Vinegard, we are also aiming for the highest possible finish in the tour, the coach said. The riders who will begin racing shortly were addressed by the Classics team, which was led by Voot van Aert. With the addition of Christophe Laporte, Tosh van der Sand, and Tish Benoot for the upcoming season, the core around the Belgian leader has been strengthened even further. I believe that we will be in competition with one another for victories there. In any event, that is the objective," Zeman explained. These riders have proven themselves worthy of their spurs. Christoph has already demonstrated that he is capable of making significant progress in the Classics. He believes that he was the one of the surprising things that happened in 2021. There is still a significant amount of ground to make up, most notably in terms of performance. Concerning Tish, a great deal of discussion has already taken place. We couldn't be more pleased with him. 
his availability presented us with a significant window of opportunity. For a good number of years, he has been consistently regarded as one of the very best in the world when it comes to the classics and grand tours. When we look at Tosh, aside from the fact that he has already been active in finals, like the Amstel Gold Race and the Dwarves Dorf Vlanderen, he strikes us as a brilliant rider. This is in addition to the fact that he has already been active in finals. He is very skilled in both positioning himself strategically and reading the races. He helps make our traditional squad more formidable. Additionally, they have stated that one of their goals is to become the best team in the world. In 2020, I predicted that within the next five years, in 2025, people would realize that Team Jumbo Visma has been the best team in the world over the most recent years. That places them at the top of the World Tour rankings. However, a number is just a number. People ought to have the impression that we were a fantastic team that was victorious in all contests and attacked everywhere. I think it would be awesome if the fans had that impression and thought that we were the best team because of it. When asked, is it also true that the participation of the people is essential to achieve success? Of course that is correct. Marin Zeman deserves praise for his ability to keep everyone involved in the process. He makes sure that everybody wants to be a part of the process and that everybody is contributing in some way. That level of involvement is extraordinary. Primoz Roglic had a strong finish in the Giro de Lombardia, which was his final competition of the year. He placed seventh overall. The Slovenian rider who competes for Team Jumbo Visma will finish the season as the best rider in the world, thanks to his recent victories at the Vuelta a España, the Giro del Emilia, and the Trevali Veracine. Nobody else comes close to matching that team's level of overall strength and depth. They are currently the most impressive team in the world by all accounts. They always follow through with it, and their leader never fails to deliver. Wiggins commented as Jumbo Visma took a stranglehold on the Vuelta for the third year in a row. I am feeling very happy by telling you one very positive aspect of the team. I know you all will also appreciate it. So an initiative has been launched by Team Jumbo Visma to increase the number of young people who participate in cycling and mold those who show promise into successful professional cyclists. Richard Plug, who serves as the managing director of Team Jumbo Visma, explains, our mission is to develop a long-term cycling program that will encourage people to get involved in sports and help budding athletes hone their skills so that they can make significant contributions to the development of a society that is both healthier and more active. Isn't it, guys, very, very good part of the team? I think this is the reason why Team Jumbo Visma is unbeatable. That's what I believe. So that's all for the video, guys. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you did, then let us know in the comment section. And yes, yes, before leaving, subscribe to the channel and like and share the video, please, guys. Okay, so it's time to say goodbye. Take care and stay happy. Bye.